What up, everybody, and welcome to Baz on Blades. My name is Baz, and I talk about blades, but today we're not talking about blades. Today we're going to get into the leather side of things. I've got a couple of pieces here from VersaCarry.com. Uh, we've got a couple of holsters to look at. We've got a carry belt to look at. We're going to talk about uh, these great American-made products. Uh, beautifully made. They are beautifully made products. I've got uh, the Guardian Series holster. This is an underground model, the Archangel edition. And then I've got the matching underground series belt. We're going to take a look at both of these pieces. But first, what I'm going to do is we're going to cut away in front of the camera and I'm going to show you what this rig looks like on the waist. Uh, keep in mind, I'm right hand carry. I typically carry behind the um, point of my waist, say about 4 or 430. And I'm going to show that to you right now. Then we'll come back. We will take a very close, up close and personal look at the quality of these pieces. And we'll talk a little bit about the fitment and whether Baz on Blades thinks they are a fantastic value for what you get. All right, here we are. I told you I would show you what this rig looks like on the waist. I'm gonna show you right now. This is the VersaCarry Guardian uh, Archangel Edition holster and their Underground Series belt. Now, uh, now I'm a, I'm a pretty medium frame. I'm five foot 10, like 175 pounds right now. Uh, you can tell this, uh, pancake style holster it sucks that firearm up tight into your waist it's very hideable i've got it behind the three o'clock position here i'm about four o'clock right here uh, but depending on how your loops are set up on your uh, whatever pants you're wearing your belt system whatever uh, you can position this like any pancake style holster they're great from about three o'clock back or if you're left-handed, you're going to go from about 9 o'clock back, say about 8.30 or 8 o'clock there. And they make for a fantastic outside the waistband carry. You can tell here I can move around. If I had a covered garment on, it would drape and it would fall right over that firearm. I think that a pancake style holster is about the very best you can do outside the waistband on your waist um, even up front if you've got a cross draw type holster it's still it's sucked in a very tight and easy to conceal and that is the name of the game you do not want the bad guys to know you've got the firearm so we're going to go back to the tabletop right now we're going to take a very close look up close and detailed look at the quality of these holsters and i think you will see why I am so impressed at least at what you get for what you pay for within the limitations of the designs. So here we go. All right, now you have just seen what this rig looks like on my waist. Uh, I know I look pretty. Please don't be in the comment section flirting with me. It, it's, you know, I like it. It makes me feel good about myself, but it makes Jack's a destroyer very jealous. He's a very jealous cat, and he's not going to share his daddy with anybody. Uh, let's talk about this Versa Carry product here. Again, this is the Guardian model of holster in their Underground series. This is the Archangel edition of that. And what the Underground series is, they take their basic holster and they sort of dress it up with multiple layers of leather contrast. And this Archangel model has the cross motif. They've got a couple of other models in this Underground series. It does this contrasting leather color. You've got multiple leather colors you can mix and match. And, you know, there's quite a few of their holsters that are like this. Now, they also do some hybrid type of stuff, Kydex and leather. And we'll take a look at this Rebel holster that I got for my GX4. And we're not going to talk about this holster because, unfortunately, apparently they've been discontinued. I didn't even know that. This is an awesome 
awesome holster. I am sorry to say that they discontinued it. Not only does it look good, but it, it carries a firearm high and tight to the body the way a pancake style holster should. They do have some other hybrid models uh, that you can check out, but today we're talking about leather and this Guardian model and Let's see how this thing fits the firearm that I bought it for, which is my Taurus G3. This G3 has been cleared. It is a fully cleared firearm. Pull that trigger, point it in a safe direction. Bring it back in here to the holster. We're going to show you how it fits. There is the fitment on it. It is flush to the bottom. The trigger guard is completely covered up and the fit is nice and tight. Um, I don't know that you could actually shake this out of this holster once it's cinched down on your waist. It is still quite a tug to get this holster out. You got to do a purposeful a uh, sort of movement to get that firearm out. I don't think it's going to come out uh, by itself. And this holster has been carried quite a bit. Um, it's it's had many presentations and reholsterings. Uh, it has stretched out a little bit from the beginning, but it is still extremely tight and well fitting. Now, speaking of fit. These VersaCarry holsters are sort of unique. They're not a one holster fits all type of thing, uh, but they are designed for a particular size of holster to fit a wide range of firearms. Now, uh, the Taurus G3 is basically the same size as a Glock 19. So, this holster will probably equally well fit a Glock 19 It'll probably fit a Smith & Wesson m and Compact, which is the same size as a Glock 19, or any other manufacturer that is in the sort of same size range. And what those size ranges are, uh, you've got a frame width here, you've got trigger guard size, you've got frame thickness. Now, anything that is about the same size as that G3 or Glock 19 is going to fit in this holster. That's good, and it's bad, sort of. Um, I have sort of a pet peeve about holsters. I do not like to see anything on the firearm protrude from the bottom of the holster. I want that flush, fully concealed fit. Now, if you say you've got a Glock 19 and you've got a Glock 17, you buy one of these holsters for your Glock 19. It is also going to fit your 17 but where the 19 will fit like this G3 and it will be flushed down on the muzzle end, your 17 is going to protrude just a little bit. The difference in that barrel and slide length, that's not good or bad. Like I said, it's not going to cause any performance issues. Uh, a stiff wind is not going to come up and blow a baby weasel up your barrel on your pistol or anything like that. I just don't like the way that looks. So I have to keep that in mind if I'm ordering from VersaCarry. Other than that, I absolutely love this holster. Let's get up close. We'll take a look at this stitching. First of all, very heavy duty uh, materials here in your thread, synthetic thread that is common with all your high-end holster makers. Um, the stitching is straight and well done. I have found zero issues with the stitching front or rear in any way. It is reinforced where it needs to be and not reinforced where it doesn't need to be. Uh, very well done there. Now the leather itself is a buffalo hide. It is nice and thick. This is nearly a quarter of an inch thick. It is just as stiff as it needs to be but flexible at the same time in order to stretch and sort of hold on, hug that firearm in there. And once you strap this on and the belt tightens down on it, it takes a very conscious uh, pull of that firearm 
uh, to get it to come out. It is not going to come out accidentally. Um, in fact, unless you're prepared for how hard it is to pull out, I would just about bet uh, somebody the first time they tried to pull it, if somebody tried to pull it off of your waist, they would fail. It's that nice, tight, sort of clingy leather fit. And I love that fit myself. Uh, I don't want this to ever be loose in any way. I want it to be, uh, in fact, you can see, it actually will manipulate the slide on this pistol. It is still tight enough, and that's after being carried quite a bit. Now, I don't carry this holster all the time as I don't carry the G3. That's not my carry piece. I carry my GX4 and I carry it inside the waistband appendix carry. Um, so this has not had, you know, like thousands of hours of carry time, but you can tell it has obviously been carried in the way that this leather behaves. This oiled leather does distress up. And the good thing about the oiled leather is you can rub that distress back down. I could dab a little bit of something on my finger here, whether it's uh, whatever I treat my leather goods with, whatever, and then come back and rub this, and it would darken back up to the same as everything else. I could do I could do all the surfaces the same way. It's going to darken back up and look really, really rich, you know, and then next time you put the firearm in it, it's going to distress out a little bit. It gives it that very high quality but lived in vintage -y, uh, real world sort of look it's this is not like a safe queen sort of custom piece of leather it's just a really really good looking piece of leather and i think that it's a, about the best looking piece of leather you can get for the price because this holster is $39.99 now Go anywhere, production, a custom shop, anybody doing leather, and buy a detailed, multi-layer um, type of holster like this with some nice um, detailing work on it, you know, to sort of customize the look. And you are not going to pay $39 for it. These are actually a super duper good deal. The only downside is they are not um, individually wet molded for your specific firearm model, but if you understand the parameters of ordering, the way their uh, holsters are designed, you end up with a fantastically fit holster. Uh, I've not had any issues as far as fit goes with any of this Versa Carry stuff. So let's take that Guardian. Uh, underground edition Archangel out of here and bring the underground edition of the belt in. Uh, it is done just like the holster. This is a two layer heavy duty buffalo hide um, firearm gun belt. It is fully a quarter of an inch thick. It is very stiff. It is not a reinforced belt. Um, uh, some belt manufacturers uh, allow for reinforcement, which is they'll take a strip of Kydex or a strip of spring steel, and they will sew it in between the layers of the belt, and that's what they call a stiffener. Uh, these belts do not have that option, but you go back to the part of the video where you see it around my waist. There's no sag. It is very firm. I could even have tightened that belt up another notch on my waist uh, to make it a little bit tighter and still been comfortable. I don't have to cinch it down like a noose around my neck in order to get the support because it is a very stiff. It supports itself under its own weight and it very well holds a firearm and then on top of it i mean you saw it around my waist look at that that is just beautiful matching set now the holster is 39 dollars 99 this underground series of belt is between 69 dollars and 79 dollars and um i have bought belts from dedicated 
uh, custom belt manufacturers, and they typically they go in that $79, $89 range. So I think, again, we're really fair on the price here. And VersaCarry does offer bundle sets. A lot of the times they will put these bundle sets up and you can order the holster, the belt, and maybe a, a mag holster, um, a mag pouch, uh, at the same time and get it in. Uh, they're under 100 bucks. Even as we see here, say $40 here, uh, $70 there, that's $110 plus whatever the shipping is on top of that. I remember it was reasonable. Um, and you're probably about $120 for the belt and the holster. And it's going to look to most people like a custom rig. It's a very, very nice looking. Uh, even up close, as, as you, we've seen in this video, uh, there is no anything really that I can say about these holsters as far as quality goes. Let's bring that Rebel holster out. Um, this is the Rebel model that I got for my GX4, of course, and this has been discontinued for some reason. This is a beautiful, fabulously made hybrid holster from VersaCarry. And even though they're no longer made, they do have another model. I can it's I think it's the Insurgent model. Uh, that is more of a plain single color leather backing with a uh, just a plain black kydex uh, front shell on it rather than this carbon fiber pattern kydex. You do have a single point tension adjustment for the trigger guard to adjust that draw tension, um, you know, full um, back in here to cover up the slides so it's not getting into your body. Uh, and causing discomfort. You also saw that on the Guardian holster. And again, stitching, super well made on this holster. Um, I would use this holster all the time if I carried outside the waistband uh, that often, which I don't, especially with my GX4. I carry it inside the waistband appendix carry. Um, so I, can't, I really can't, I can't say anything bad about these products at all. Uh, I have even bought VersaCarry products as a gift for somebody. My neighbor Gary helped me out uh, a couple of years ago, and I bought him a holster and belt for his uh, preferred carry, which is his 1911, and he really was very, very happy with it. Um, I think at the price, you're not going to do much better because, I mean, frankly, what we're getting here is sort of a semi-custom look uh, with a higher-end production uh, quality, good, very good materials, very good fit and finish. Um, the only quote-unquote drawback to the VersaCarry holsters, at least these regular leather holsters, is they're not individually wet molded to specific firearms. They are shaped to specific sizes, but they really have that size and, um, and what they offer for different firearms, the matches, very, very well done. Um, this holster is a fabulous fit. Like I say, it's had Glock 19 in it, it's had my G3, it's had Glock 17 in it. All of them fit perfectly well. Um, and I don't even think this is the size that it goes for the 19. I think it's in a different size. I think, I think, I don't remember. Uh, but there's a sizing chart that you've got a, a drop down menu sizing chart you've got to fill out for these. And of course, on your belt, you can select your size. And, and then on these series, the underground series with the contrasting leather layers, uh, you've got multiple different leather colors to choose from. You've got the brown, the black, the gray. Um, you can mix and match the new vintage series of this holster, <clears throat> which is sort of a trim level of it, is a lot like the underground, but they've brought in a gray leather that you can mix and match with the black, and it looks so good. 
I mean, it looks really, really good. I've thought about ordering a second rig this size in that gray and black as well uh, to wear, you know, when I'm wearing black clothing, say, and I don't want to wear a brown holster. Um, I just think they're a fantastic deal. And one of the secrets with VersaCarry, they continuously run sales. Um, this underground series of belt, which sells for $69 to $79, I bought this belt half price on a blemish sale and never could find anything wrong with it. Um, I bought my um, Guardian holster on a regular sale. They were like 30% off at the time and got a fantastic deal with it. If you sign up uh, for their mailing list, um, they don't cover me up in too many emails. Um, you know, maybe one every two days or something. And it's usually featuring a sale of some type. You can many times get their products for 45% off. They'll run a sale for every holiday. They'll run a 50% a off blemish sale once or twice a year. Uh, they're very much, if you're the patient sort of person, you can really... Uh, make out like a bandit with Versa Carry. I'm, I mean, I'm not lying. The regular price of $39 for this holster, frankly, in my opinion, is a steal. Uh, there is no custom holster make, maker out there that would make this holster for less than a hundred and shit, a hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars probably. Um, even a manufactured holster from another known leather maker, you're not going to get this sort of a detailed look. If you do get multiple layers, a reinforced throat, whatever, you're looking at, you know, well over a hundred dollars for a holster. I mean, guys, this is one third that. And yeah, it's sort of has some limitations to it in the way that they're fit. But honestly, I just don't look at that as a negative in most situations. I look at these strictly in a positive light. Um, and you know what? I don't have any issue at all recommending this product. From everything I've had go through my hand, which is two different versions of this holster, uh, the Rebel holster for my GX4, and two different models of belts. Uh, none of them have had any flaws on them. It, all of them equally well made, beautiful to look at. Um, yeah, I just think I just think it's a great deal. Uh, this Versa Carry stuff is a fantastic deal as far as I'm concerned. There you go, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I can edit this video together where it's not too awful clunky, but keep in mind that we're really clunky here at Baz on Blades. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for taking the time to watch one of my videos. God bless all of you, and we will talk to you again.